What is up, Madden NFL 25 Gamers? In today's episode of Peyton Manning's Offense, part 4 or 5, I believe, one of those two, we're going to be breaking down uh, one of the, one of Peyton Manning's favorite plays. Uh, the play that we're going to be focused on today is the, uh, let me pull it up here, uh, is the smash uh, concept. I hope we haven't already gone over that. i got to check on those, make sure that I haven't gone and done a concept before but anyways uh, the smash concept what what it is how to use it it's one of the most popular concepts in Madden 25 uh, but it's it, there's a specific way that Peyton Manning would run it so that it would be um, it would be cover two and it would also be cover three or cover zero pressure so uh, we're gonna look at this from a nickel defense and we'll just come out in the cover two sink because that's what it's designed to be well at least that's what I from what I understand it is <laughs> hopefully I'm not lying to you guys on any of these statistics anyway uh, let's take a look here so it looks like the doubles formation should have it I think it I hope they got it in here let's see let's see here so what the smash concept is guys is, is basically we'll just make it out of this X under I think we can do that yep that, that'll work guys so we'll use this X under to illustrate this play um, and basically the only difference uh, from this and what the real smash is is Thomas would be running a hook route, but his hook route would be like super short. Let me grab. I bet. It, I bet they have it in, in something here. Let's see here. They've got it in here. I don't know. I haven't checked out. Denver's playbook doesn't have all the exact, like, ex like straight up exact routes. But I guess we could take a look at it from a trips, from a trips. Even though even though the the Colts would run it, they would run it from trips. They would also run it from. Um, uh, uh, double sets, and, and I think doubles uh, a, a double smash is, is is really effective. I don't know. Let's see here. I got it in the shotgun. I know they got it in the shotgun. Let's see what we've got here. Get the X under, but that's not the. Uh, we'll just grab it out of their trips. They gotta have it in their trips. If they don't have it in trips, then I don't know who made these playbooks, but they're a little bit off. Uh, let's see. Levels, no, no. Z spot, no. It's not it. Dang, I guess they don't have it in the uh, in the little uh, playbook here, which is really stupid in my opinion. But oh, uh, here's smash corners. I mean, we can. This will just illustrate, it and then we'll come back. That's what we'll do. So um, these little small hitch routes are basically is what they're supposed to do is they're supposed to create a, a space like a window so cover two and, and we're gonna use Moreno's motion out here and typically he'll be on a streak so it'll be a streak a corner concept basically it's a seam kind of deal and, and, and what's gonna the, the idea is that A should be open uh, on the deep but the problem is in Madden um, there's not enough space because the it, not necessarily that the field's, you know, obviously it is because it's a TV, but but it's it's not enough space for it to have the separation it should have um, because of the window and the and the uh, and the actual depth that they get in this game for whatever reason. So what we like to do is a couple of adjustments. And we're going to show you that out of the single back doubles formation here. So let's take a look at that. I apologize it took me so long to find that. I, I was I just assumed that the Broncos playbook would have it. Next time I'll try to come in with a custom playbook to make sure I have everything I need. Um, anyways, um, the play we were looking at before was X under, and we'll just come out in a nickel personnel. Uh, we'll just come out in dollar, no big deal, and cover two sink. Because cover two, we obviously understand why it beats that. Um, so what we'd like to do in Madden to make it a little better is we're going to put them on outside receivers on a smoke screen. So we're going to put Demarius Thomas here on a smoke screen, and then we're going to take Nelson Marino, we're going to put him on a swing pass. Um, or a block and release pattern to the right. So as long as we can put him on the block and release to the right, that's the exact write up that I know. But if you can't do that, then just swing him to the right. Okay. The first read on this play is obviously going to be the smoke screen, um, but in the cover two situation, that's going to be covered. So what we can do though is it creates that void to pass that route to Decker. So let's take a look at that in instant replay. See what happens. The yellow zones, even though even though cover two sync shows that that part of the field would be covered. The smoke screen is going to hold that yellow zone. You see how it holds it there? And then we're just going to pass lead that upfield. And, and, and basically, there's just no void. because and, there, and it doesn't matter because if we take a look here, if I can get my instant replay on here, let's see. It's hard to, sw to sw show the camera angle that I want to show you. Maybe if I move over here. 
But if you see, you have um, Thomas here wide open over the middle as well. So this safety, the safety on the right, uh, excuse me, on the left side has to guard the wide side. They both do. So it's on the middle linebacker to take this guy. And when the middle linebacker takes this guy, it leaves that matchup with Skandrick and, and the safety, the zone, is not going to stretch itself enough because of all the other possibilities of route combinations that we could be using when we use the curl flat, the levels, all those different types of things. And it now is going to leave Eric Decker wide open uh, for a pretty nice gain there. So let's take a look at that one more time against cover two, and we'll show it to you against some other coverages as well. So once again, go. And we're just going to pass lead that up because the zone won't go with him because the reason why because of the route combinations we've been doing we've been doing uh, apologize for my phone guys um we've been doing levels concepts uh where we would basically s stretch the field in the middle and then now when we go to this smash all of a sudden it's an outside flood so there's different floods that we're creating which is forcing the zones to have to honor all of them because we go inside and then we go outside and then we go inside and then we go outside and it all takes different cuts different things so the zones have to stay disciplined and when they stay disciplined they can't get either one they can only be decent against either one and real quick let me show you A's route um, up so I got sacked Dallas Cowboys that's what happens when you get the Dallas Cowboys defensive line working properly but anyway um, A's route it will also beat the cover two now what the, what some teams will do uh, what some guys will do online is they'll call the disguise cushion and try to overplay that corner route. Well, when they do that, we'll show it to you here. You see that that corner route's now covered. You see that? That's that's now taken out of the picture. That's why you have to go through your progressions. Um, Peyton Manning never, you know, never, they never really relied on just one route. They relied on progressions. So here, when they drop away, then just take your 10-yard smoke screen and be okay with that. And then look at that. Look at all those yards after catch I got. Like, you have to be all right with taking what the defense gives you. Now, as far as uh, other coverages that you may see, two-man under, if they're in a two-man under, uh, usually, guys, uh, it's just based off of whether or not your guy's going to beat his man or not. There you see he didn't beat his man. Why would he not beat his man? Well, some different things. Speed rating can come into the play. Um, also, something that comes into play is how many times have you ran this? If you run smash all game, then no wonder he won't beat his man. But if you run smash... If you run in routes and then out routes and then all sorts of different things. So, like, make them honor that. So, when we run levels, they're honoring it, they're honoring it, they're honoring it, that we can beat them to the inside. So, now what they do is they take their uh, two-man underplay, and now they're going to shade Decker to the inside. And when they do that, that's going to open up the smash route to the outside. As you see there. And if that's not open against man, we always have our we always have our check downs. And that's one of the things that I love about this play is there's another there's a check down route, that curl route to Wes Welker. Well, if we're waiting, no oh man, Cowboys pass rush is pretty good in this game. But uh we wish we could get some of that on Sundays against the Detroit Lions. Um but when but when everything breaks down, we still are gonna have that come or that little curl route to uh, Wes Welker over there on the outside. So it all comes together. And now we're, you know, now you have levels, you know, really, I mean, the right side of the field, that's a that's a curl flat concept. And it's just one of the most simplest things, but it's very effective. And then if there if we need to take the top of the defense, maybe cover zero situations or whatever, then Thomas is going to be breaking up the seam. So this play is just a dynamic play that can be ran in many different ways. Uh, real quick, let me show you how to get to cover three. Against cover three, a lot of times you're just going to hit that quick hitch uh, to Thomas over there on the outside, similar to the way we used to in levels. And then if you can't hit that, if you're not if you're not comfortable hitting that, then you can attack the seams, straight up the seams to Thomas. It, it's, it's open in this game against cover three. It may not be open in real life against cover three, but that's just the way the game plays. And then the third route. Uh, their little running back block at release, little check down route, always something to have in your plays. So, um, you know, this is just part of the Manning offense, guys. If you want to see the rest of it, check out the videos prior to this on my YouTube channel. If you guys don't know, I make uh, YouTube videos and uh, post on the internet for Madden 25. So be sure to check that out, guys. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to come back next week for another video uh, on the Manning offense, and we'll we'll try to wrap this up. We've got about uh, let's see, we got one, two. 
three, four, five. Got about uh, at least six, uh, at least six or seven more plays, uh, and then we're going to be completely done with what, what Peyton Manning used. Uh, well, the basics of what Peyton Manning used on the Indianapolis Colts all those all those dominant seasons. So hopefully you guys enjoy this series. If you do enjoy it, give it a thumbs up, give it a like rating, and share it and retweet it on Twitter for me. I really would appreciate that. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next week.